Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Here we have a Carwin 100D, Carwin AG100D. It's an acoustic uh, guitar amplifier, 100 watts uh, from Esther years, but uh, very well built for its time. It was really very advanced and uh, futuristic in terms of uh, the things that it can do. Plus it also has a DSP built in with effects and all that. And my friend, a guitarist uh, friend, brought it this evening uh, for repair. And uh, we just plugged it in and uh, this is the power on it. Is power, it is uh, plugged into the mains power and it doesn't do anything. I switch it on, there's an LED here, power LED, doesn't light up. So I just want to go through it and uh, I'll document uh, whatever I find so that it is helpful to others who have uh, uh, such classic amplifiers with them so that it can help them as well to keep them going. It's not really broken, but uh, the sleeve has come off the side. The side seems okay. The side seems okay. So it should come off. I just need to remove the speaker cable either here or here. I think it's better I remove it here. It's connected to main speaker, 8 ohm. This one, center connector. And there is a fuse here on top, just above the uh, connector, the power connector. So let us have a look at it now. I'll keep this speaker, the cabinet aside and then start working on it. I don't see the fuse anywhere here so it must be inside this one and I think it is easier for me to remove these two screws and remove the uh, receptacle, the power receptacle and then check. Okay. What they mean is that the spare fuse is inside, along with the main fuse. This looks okay. I need to test it though. This is blown. You can actually see it. No need to even test it, it's blown. This is the spare fuse, which is good. I checked the rating of the fuse, it's 2 amps. <coughs> so this is my fuse collection. So let me see if I have a 2 amps one.
Okay, <coughs> the fuse is put back. I'll now connect the socket back and then power on and uh, power power it on and then see if it works. It's a simple but elegant design. This is just for the connectors, uh, speaker connectors, and this board is the DSP. And uh, this front board, I think this is the one that has all the preamps, op amps, and all that. And uh, this is the power supply module here. Of course, the transformer, the mains connector, and this is the simple IC for amp. <clears throat> it's a simple IC. I forgot the number. I'll mention that in the description. And this is the heat sink. This is the heat sink. So it's a very simple design and still we have a lot of space here. In hindsight, it was not necessary to remove the handle to pull out the chassis because there's nothing holding on to it. I was not sure. Hence I removed it. small tear here this looks clean so there is no need to dust or do anything or maybe somebody must have removed it and cleaned it there's no dust Okay, now all the screws are in place. Actually, I could have tested it before, but I'm confident it was just the fuse. So, let me see. I'll plug it in and then <clears throat> see if it works. Okay, it's plugged into the mains now. So, here goes. <clears throat> let me turn it on. Yeah, it's on. I don't know whether this light is LED is visible. Yeah, it's on and you can hear the sound. So let me plug in an instrument and see how it works before uh, calling my, uh, my friend to give it back. I see that uh, these two caps are missing, one and two. The cover for the screw. So those are missing here for the two knobs. <clears throat> 